Jollibee is the premier fast food restaurant of the Philippines. Anytime a new Jollibee opens, people lose their How excited are you that uh, Jollibee's here? How excited are you? That's how excited we are. Oh my god. This line. Just for that. I've written about it, but I've never actually tried the food. So I enlisted the help of my buddy Dale Talday, chef, but also a huge fan of Jollibee. When I first came to New York City, um, my mom was mad worried. She's like, there's a lot of Filipinos in Queens. <laughs> so go to Woodside. I'm like, okay, mom. Because well, it's super diverse borough, but just so happens there's a lot of Filipino people there's, in this neighborhood. Yeah, there's tons of Filipinos here. So tons of Filipinos, tons of Filipino food. Mm. Jollibee, which is a huge chain in the Philippines. Yep. I've never had it, but people really love it. Here, it's a unique brand. In the Philippines, they're everywhere. You're always longing for what you had back at home when it comes to food, especially. And, you know, Jollibee brings people back to that. The Jollibees we're going to here in Woodside, this is the first one in the East Coast. Tim and I look at similar in build. My head's only this big in my head, though. <laughs> it's just my ego. What's your basic order? What do you, what do you usually get? I'm usually like a, a three-piece chicken and rice and gravy guy. There are hot dogs and cheddar cheese in the spaghetti. Sweet tomato is like the theme. It is our jam here. <laughs> Tomatoes are more sweet than savory in the Philippines. We're going to order like everything. Filipino comfort food is a unique blend of Chinese, Malaysian, Spanish, and Americana. It's as good or better than Popeyes because it's not as heavy of a batter. Fried chicken in general is a unifier. This is what people come for, the chicken joy. Drag your finger through that. Got some heat to it. Ooh. Let's jump in. Okay. Mm. That's legit fried chicken. Yeah, that's good. Pressure fried chicken, always. Mm. So much of eating fried chicken for me is just the familiarity. And uh -huh. I can see if, you know, I grew up on Jollibee and then I didn't have it and it showed up in my town, I'd like freak out. Because like, it's, it's that specific kind of texture and flavor that you can't, you can't get. This is one of the things that my mom like got me up on, is fried chicken and rice. The rice is perfect. I always grew up under, like knowing that that was a dope combination. People are like, what are you eating, rice with fried chicken? I'm like, yo. <laughs> so this is the special. Yeah, so it's it's basically a chicken noodle soup. So it's, it's very like Filipino. Very Filipino? Very, okay. very Filipino. These are mung bean threads. So okay. instead of flour noodles, they're um, mung beans. Gluten-free. We know when there's 7,000 islands, mm -hmm. People make this a ton of different ways. What I like is that the noodles aren't hammered. Yeah, like a pudding in here. Yeah, but no, they've actually held That's, together. Yeah. Should we do one with, one with vinegar? Do yes. a little vinegar? We should try I think, this. I think so you, this is pretty classic. You'll always find this under the table. I like giving this a shot or two of this chili vinegar, and it really changes what you're working with here. It, it feels it, it, like something homemade in, a, in a place at the fast food restaurant. I feel like we're doing drugs. <laughs> and I'm like trying to lead you down this Gateway. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Eat the burger. You know what I had corned beef with in my house was for breakfast. You need a lot of with rice and some eggs. This is pandasal. Very soft, squishy. Yeah. Um, it has squishy. a little bit more texture than a potato roll. This is a common bread that you get for breakfast or you know just kind of a snacking. It's a little sweet. It's a little almost sweet. like a Hawaiian roll. Yep. All right, I think we should do these these pastas next. Yeah. It's still really sweet. And the, and it's like definitely not an al dente. Hammered. It's like very soft. But there's never any al dente noodles in the Asian palate. Even if it's a ramen noodle, it's not al dente where you can still see a little something right. you know in the middle. Right. It's cooked through, but it has a chew to it. And if you go to these noodles, I grew up eating this. It's called pancit palabok. It's a rice noodle. The gravy is basically a thickened shrimp broth. Um, they have minced pork, so chicharron on top, and then they always garnish with egg, and, and they have some more shrimp on top. I love yeah. this. It's made from um, like coconut juice that they've turned into vinegar. This feels like something I've eaten 
Yes. A lot of this food is definitely from the American occupation in the Philippines. You get a you get they wanted a taste of home. This was a taste of home for a lot of Americans. I see. So this is post occupation. This is pre, pre definitely. <laughs> pre that's post. Okay. Peach mango. Oh yeah. So bubbly and crispy. And you can hear it. You can hear the Yeah, that's crackly. The crackly crunch. There's some diabetes in here, boy. The pastry's almost savory. Yeah. Well, you gotta imagine, they're not frying this in any other oil but the chicken fat oil. Seriously? For sure. <laughs> For sure. I, mean, I can guarantee great. it. I guarantee it. And yeah, it's, but it's delicious. Crispy. It's good. I'm gonna try this. That looks so good. I know my man wants to eat this. You know he does. He's straight Hawaiian. Hawaiians, this is like, you put an egg on this and he's like, I know my man wants to eat this. I know he wants to eat this. I know he wants to eat this. <laughs> I knew it. I was like, he was staring at it. He was like, yo, I'm about to eat that. I know, it's, it's all you guys. In this world, in this genre of what this is, fast food, yeah. it's a good product. It originated from the whole pride of our tonkotsu pork broth ramen being the best. And we want customers to really understand